Hey folks, Mobile Geezer back with my second unboxing of the day. This is the Verni M5 straight from China. So let's get to it. So, just came in a very plain box. And actually the adapter plug for the United States came in the package, but not even in the box. So we're going to open it up and take a look. So here's the phone. Got out of the paper. Kind of a nice looking little phone. My second blue phone of the day. So this is the M5 model, 64 gigabytes. And this shows us where the earphone jack is. And then end up SIM card and SD card. Volume up and down buttons, your fingerprint sensor, power button. So let's see if I can get this off. That's my second blue phone of the day. This one's a much darker blue than the Sony Xperia XA2. But we'll take a quick look at some of the specs on the back. It's got a MediaTek 6750 octa-core processor, a 5.2 inch IPS display. It's got Four gigabytes of onboard storage, 64 gigabytes of RAM. It's got a 13 megapixel back camera, a 3300 milliamp battery, fingerprint, 4G LTE. We'll see if that works in the US. We have dual SIM. And of course, I use the second SIM slot for my SD card. And it comes with Android 7.0. Like the SA2, this is a 5.2 inch screen. Feels kind of nice in the hand. So I'll power it up. Hopefully it's got some power. Okay. And while that's powering up, we'll take a look at what else is in the box. We have our usual pamphlets. Now I had to bring this over from China, so we'll see how the bands work in the US. There's our power brick. At least they sent the adapter with it. So now I can plug it into a US plug. There's our SIM ejector tool. And there's our standard USB cable. This is not type C, but this normally sells for $149. I picked it up on sale for $116. Hopefully I can't go wrong at that price. We'll see. I'm going to put in the SD SIM card right now. So we've got a SIM and SD card in. I will get this set up and I'll come back to you after we've got it set up. So we're all set up here folks. Still copying a lot of my apps. But at least we have an app drawer. So I'll give you a quick look around the phone. We have our power button on the right, our volume up and down. On the left we have our SIM slot. Up top we have our headphone jack and a microphone. On the bottom, another microphone, our standard USB in, and a speaker over here on the right. And looking up front, we've got our 8 megapixel camera, and of course an indicator which you can see flashing. 
And on the back, we have our 13 megapixel camera and flash, our fingerprint sensor, and a little Verney brand right there. Overall, a very attractive phone. Feels pretty good in the hand. It looks like the front screen is going to be a real fingerprint magnet. There is a little screen protector there. I haven't decided if I'm going to take that off yet or not. I did pick up a case for it already. And tomorrow I should be receiving my case for the Xperia XA2. So, <clears throat> most of you know that I carry two phones all the time. So this will become my secondary phone with my secondary SIM card. And my XA2 will be my main phone with my main SIM. With both phones, I carry them around all day and I use them both all day. Send texts, take calls on both. So tomorrow when I'm at work, both phones will get broken rather well. I said I'll have a uh, first impressions up on the Xperia A2 on Saturday morning and by Sunday I should have some impressions up on this burning me A5. Overall, I like it. Let's hope the bands work well in the US. And oh yeah, let's check that fingerprint center. Seems to be a nice fast fingerprint sensor. So that's it folks, the Verney M5. I'll be giving you updates as I learn about this device. So as always, comments are welcome. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.